There once was an artist who was having some trouble. He couldn't draw a straight line. Trying to draw straight lines is driving me crazy. And they're not the right length. I wish there was something that could help me. I've got something for you. Oh yeah. Thanks. Rule in peace. So, with his trusty ruler by his side, he drew happily ever after. Greetings. In this episode, we'll be examining rulers and other tools to help the artist measure and create lines. We'll look at the materials they're made of and discover some features and options you may not be aware of. Welcome to Art Expedition. Rulers are used for measuring, creating lines, and cutting. Rulers can be made from different materials. The most common are plastic, wood, and metal. Each one has its own advantages. Plastic rulers are the rulers many people begin using in their homes and schools, but they're also used by professionals as well. They're inexpensive, colorful, and lightweight. Some are very flexible and made to resist shadowing. Some are see-through, which can be very helpful when drawing. Wood rulers are stronger and less likely to snap than plastic rulers. Higher quality wood rulers are coated with lacquer to make them more durable. Some wooden rulers have a metal strip along the side. This preserves the edge and helps to give a clean line when drawing or cutting. It also lifts the drawing side of the ruler to prevent ink from blobbing and smearing. Metal rulers are more durable than their plastic or wooden counterparts. They're usually made from steel or aluminum. Some will have a cork backing to prevent them from slipping. This also helps to keep ink from smearing. There are also metal rulers that have their measurements etched into them with a laser. This prevents the lines and marking from wearing out. Many rulers, regardless of the material they're made of, have a hole on one end so they can be stored on a hook. A straight edge is a tool used to draw straight lines. A ruler is a tool that measures length. A straight edge with measurements on it is called a ruler. The measurements found in a ruler are usually metric, centimeters and millimeters, imperial, feet and inches, or both. On occasion, you might find rulers that have markings for picas and points. These are measurements used for making type and fonts. Rulers come in various lengths. Some are small and will fit easily into a pocket or bag, like a six inch or 15 centimeter type. Rulers that are 12 inch or 30 centimeters are very common and handy for using at a desk. Larger rulers are good when working on a big piece of paper or on a drafting board. It all depends on what you need. There are also specialty rulers and other tools to help you measure and create lines. A T-square is great for drawing horizontal lines. It gets its name because it looks like the letter T. The stock or head braces up against the side of your desk or drawing board. It keeps it stable. Then, as you slide it up or down, the lines stay parallel. Triangles are tools that allow you to draw lines in various angles. Some are adjustable to give you more options. Combining a triangle with a T-square allows you to draw consistent horizontal, vertical, and diagonal lines as well. Protractors are devices used to measure and draw precise angles. They can be shaped like half or full circles. A compass allows you to draw circles and arcs. It can also help measure the distance between two points. Some compasses have very sharp points, which can be a real pain. Other models don't use points and are easier on your fingers. There are also times when I use plastic lids and rolls of tape to help me draw circles. French curves allow you to draw smooth, irregular curves and connect lines in various ways. They're also used in fashion design. They come in a variety of shapes and often come in sets. The French curve was designed by German mathematician Ludwig Burmeister. I wonder why it's a French curve. Flexible curves are very handy. They're bendable and allow you to shape your lines in whatever way you need. Some come with ruler markings on the side. 
There are also templates that allow you to create circles, ellipses, lettering, and all sorts of shapes neatly and quickly. Architects and engineer scales are special rulers that help people draw things that are very large and things that are very small with accuracy to fit on the page. The many sides give them different measuring units to help them to shrink down or grow up what they want to create. Then there's the rolling ruler, also known as a parallel glider. It combines the functions of a standard ruler, a T-square, a triangle, a protractor, a compass, all in one tool. Pretty handy. I hope our time together has sparked ideas on how rulers and other accessories can be useful when drawing and creating. They're tools that, with some practice, can help you on your own artistic journey. With a ruler nearby, you don't need to be a king or a queen to have control over your lines and measurements. But it couldn't hurt either. Thanks for spending time here. For Art Expedition, I'm Kevin Van Norman. What will you create? I need to clean up. King Ruler! King Ruler!